Hello everybody, my name is Kai Hendry, I live in Singapore and I like networks, speed of internet, all that stuff and I want to quickly show you about uh, Microtik um, hardware or software rather and something I love to hate. You can think of this Microtik hardware as, well it's done by a Latvian company and their hardware design is pretty good. I, the way I, my mental model of this is that they sub, they basically use um, well supported Linux hardware, and they have their own proprietary um, software on top, um, and um, there's no bug tracker, um, and there's a lot of quirks, and the community is pretty caustic. So, <laughs> hence I'm making a very quick video about how to set this up. So, what I'm doing for this demonstration is that I'm going to set this one up. Uh, in bridge mode, internet's going to come in here. I'm going to plug this in uh, probably in port 5, and this is going to be part of the wireless network because, in reality, nowadays you need more than one access point because, because this one's going to be like outside. This is why I got a WAP. This is like the weatherproof microtech, and this is going to be inside. So, the idea is with Capsman, you have the same ESSID. It works inside your house, you walk outside, it also works. So Caps Manager is the thing that makes it all work kind of seamlessly. So, well, with caveats. So anyway, let's get quickly onto the demonstration. Right, so for the purpose of demonstration, internet's coming in here. This is going to my computer, which I'll use to configure it with. Um, this is a PoE thing going to the, um, to the cap. Should be in cap mode already, uh, might have to redo it. Um, but I just plugged it in so anyway that's the setup your Winbox if you're using it should basically figure out these two unconfigured microtics on your network in fact if you look at your wireless settings on your um, you should see like a couple of like microtic um, access points that are just there which they shouldn't be they should be I don't know security protected and under your 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 society. So anyway, I'm using Webfig to do this, but you, there must be a couple of things you got to be aware of. Um, <laughs> uh, let me get on to them. So Wisp AP is the default. There's some other quick set things. I don't know what they mean. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to assume that your IP comes from Ether One. I'm just going to bridge everything. But bridge mode here does not work unless you do a couple of changes. Uh, the changes being you disable the um, D uh, DHCP server on, on, on the uh, microtick and you also disable the firewall. So it's going through these. Disable, 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 disable. So now go to the quick set and now I choose bridge and now bridge mode should work. Not really, actually, because <laughs> it says 192.168.118 is the uh, is the uh, IP address that I picked up, but you probably need to have a look at your your local um, access point. Oh, okay. There's another thing you need to consider is that is that your the DHCP lease here that I have 88.252 is probably is is basically stale. I need to somehow trigger my DH client on my machine to pick up the bridged uh, IP and if that worked and I can see it pop up here yes I got 1.121 so if I log into my uh, my home thing I can should be able to figure out the IP of the Microtech um, well to be honest I know it's this one so, annoyingly, yes, it doesn't bubble up errors here. So if you if you were on the old 88 one, you were making changes, the the Ajax into this the web fig basically still works, but the background Ajax things would, would have been failing, and you wouldn't have known. Okay, the caps man. Security configuration. Um, I'm going to choose WPA2 best practice, I believe. Uh, I'm choosing uh, 8888888. I think you need only eight, eight characters. 
and then I'm choosing the data path that's just onto the bridge and then I'm making SSID of YouTube you don't need to set the channel up I don't know why just I'm just keeping to the absolute minimal stuff here so I'm choosing the data path that I just initially set up and this so that that also that fault security thing um, I also choose provisioning I go for create dynamic enabled can't actually remember why the default configuration is already selected I usually go prefix identity this makes it easier to for me to organize my my caps so I just set identity and then it appears up there it's quite nice so I set that oh I need to enable cap span so it's all enabled and uh, then I go to my wireless so the wireless of this HAP SA2 I need to tell it to now be managed by the CAPS manager. So I choose the two interfaces, the two wireless interfaces that is. I tell it to look on the bridge for the CAPS man and then I also tell it just to look at the local host. Any luck, I think we're done. See, the, the micro tick of this one just popped on. Popped on. Um, outside is the, the the cap interface I've already configured and if I look at the access points here yeah, YouTube is is there and we're done just in time for me to cut the video because my son is busting through like the video guys uh, thanks for watching I'll, I'll include the configuration below <laughs> <laughs> oh.